All right, guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. <laughs> Can you dig it? All right, check it out. Behind me, I got a 2000 Dodge Ram Van 1500. Customer's complaint, it does not start. Now, this is not your average does not start. I want to show you some weird things what's going on here. All right, coming up on Astral Auto Repairs. This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. All right, guys, here we go. Okay, I'm going to give you a little history, and I want to see who can, uh, be honest with me now, see who can figure this problem out before I do, before I get to the Whatever it is. All right, here's the situation. Customer went on a drive, went somewhere, got out, went to start the car. Car did not start. Just click, 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 no problem at all. All right, um, got it back to his house. He replaced the starter, put a brand new starter in, started did the same thing. All right, no problem. Went, got a brand new battery, brand new battery, because the other battery did have a dead cell, so he replaced the battery. Still the same thing. Changed the starter relay located inside here still the same thing let me let you know what it's doing now oh, okay okay now what i'm going to do also before we start what i did when i first i just wanted to check out something so what i did was I take a took a set of jumping cables and i wanted to bypass the ground so i took the jumping cables hooked it up here and hooked it up right to the top of the alternator and still the same thing all right so this is what we got of course watch it start so that'll be like here <laughs> All right, listen carefully, guys. Here we go. Lights, everything, come on. That's what we got. Again, brand new starter, brand new battery. All right, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to jack it up. Starter's located on this side of the vehicle. I'm going to jack it up, get up under it, and we're going to go down there and check the connections together at the starter. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got it jacked up. Got a, a jack stand up under there, and the street is going on an incline. So, as an added security, we got the emergency brake set on. And this is cool because I can see the starter right between here. Let's get the camera here, and there's the starter right there. And what I want to look at first is I'm looking at the power wire that's going. Directly to the battery. Man, that's, they, they put that right close to the block. But if I can reach over there with some. With a voltmeter. Or better yet. You know what I'm going to do guys. What I'm going to do. Is I'm going to get my jumping cables. I'm going to put a ground on the starter. And a ground on the battery, and then we're gonna try it again. All right, bear right back. All right, guys, we got a ground hooked up to the bottom of the starter, and I got it coming out here, going to the battery. Let's see, um, see what we got here. Look at that guys, look, look at that, started right up. All right, let's take off our ground. Watch it starts up. <laughs> let's go back in here and try it again. Just clicks, all right. So, we know we got a bad ground so now the weird part about it i checked the ground the other way but i guess it's still not good so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get a new ground from here oh you know what i'm gonna do first before we do anything 
I'm gonna take this off, clean up any kind of corrosion up here on this one and see if it makes a difference. We'll be right back. All right guys, we got two terminals up, two bolts up here, 11 millimeter or 7 16. So what I'm gonna do here is take both of them off. Take it out. Okay, uh, it looks pretty clean. But let's take this out all the way. Oh, if you look want at to this. It, I got one right here. How long is that one? Uh, six feet. No, six gauge. Uh, I think it's four feet. Four feet. Forty-nine inches. All right, guys. Here we go. Four and a half. Looks clean. Looks really clean. But you know what? Let's uh. We know guys what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut this, cut this off of here. This does look kind of dark right here, like it was heating up. Let me see, let me sure you can see that. Okay, you can see the darkness right on that side, like it was getting hot. So it could have been getting hot because it was, wasn't making a good connection. But what we're gonna do is cut this off, spice it back to here, get a nice clean connector, and hopefully, yeah, we can still reach up there. And then we're gonna try this again before we go and change the whole thing. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go. Let's zoom in a little bit over here. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is take this and we're gonna cut all this off right there. Put it to the side. Get us a razor blade. We're gonna cut back right about here and take the razor blade and go around and then cut right in the center and if you cut down deep enough you should be able to just open that up and take that piece right off Twist this, twist this one, get this one nice and twisted, and then we're going to connect this right back up into there. And what I'm going to do here is our piece that goes on top, you notice how it's curved like that, we're going to put this the other way. And that way it makes a nice tight fit. All right, then we're gonna take our 11 millimeter or 7 16 and tighten those two down. Be right back. All right, guys, we finished it up. We got a nice clean fit right there. That is perfect. Let's go over here. Let's see what we got. Nope. Check that out. Even though that is tight, this ground wire is no good. Now let's see where this ground wire, this ground wire is going right to the back of the power steering pump. So, we're gonna, See if we can, cause David. See if we, we where we're gonna bolt this thing up at. I see a nice bolt right there that I would like to put it to. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys. Before we change the the ground wire, I'm gonna show you show you how to do a voltage drop. 
Now voltage drop is, we're gonna check to see whether this vehicle is dropping 12 volt positive or ground. What we already know is dropping ground, but I'm gonna show you a good way of checking that. So the guys that you got the Autel AL539B, grab it. All right, so what you wanna do here is hook up your leads with the alligator clips on them. All right, you wanna hook up ground and you wanna hook up current. Now, battery voltage is 12 volts, right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our positive lead and we're gonna hook it up to the positive battery terminal. And the negative one, now we're not gonna hook up the negative to the negative terminal. What we're gonna do is hook up the negative one to a good ground on the engine because the only way this engine is getting ground now is through that thick wire. So, now what we're gonna do is cut our oil tail on and we're gonna go down to multimeter. And we're gonna go down to DC voltage, which is reading about 12.17. Now, once we try to start this vehicle, that voltage should stay right there or it'll drop, maybe drop down till about 11. So we're gonna do, just prop this up and, you know, I don't know why I never took the, took the covering off of this. Nobody ever does. No, this is to keep it nice and clean, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They can see that. Oh, see. It sure is. Hard to see. Let's see if I. Okay, guys, you can see it's 12.17. Okay, now I'm going to take the key and I'm going to start it up. And I want you to watch what this voltage voltage drops to. Now remember, it's at lowest point. It's a, I mean, at its lowest point, 10.8. All right, so let's start it up. And you keep an eye on that. Key is right in the seat. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. All right, we're going to try that one more time. All right, what did it drop to? It low of about seven. So what that told us is that, yeah, we got a bad ground. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is definitely change this ground wire. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do is go up under there and see if the ground is loose, the main, the original wire. I'm going to see if it's loose and see what's going on with that. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, let's see here. What can we... Like that, and there's our wire right there, and you can see it's really like it's loose inside the fitting right there. So we're gonna do, we're gonna bolt this to the top of the engine, but what we want to do is make this look clean, and we're gonna get this wire out of here. So let's get this wire out of here, and we'll be right back. All right, we pull the wire out. Notice right here. Cleaning this up, but we noticed on the other side got some rust where it, maybe it wasn't making a good connection. What we're gonna do is measure this out, and we got the new wire down here, and we're gonna put that in place, and then we're gonna do another voltage drop. But this time, more than likely, when we do the voltage drop next time, the vehicle's gonna be starting up. <laughs> so we'll be right back. All right, guys, this is what we're gonna do. We noticed that the ground wire was going to the back of the power steering pump. Eh, we're not too comf comfortable with that. We want something going right to the block. So what we're gonna do, if you notice over here, we got our timing cover. They got two studs sticking out of it. So what we're gonna do is go around here, hook our ground wire up just like that. And we're gonna be using a lock nut. These nuts have little nylon inside so it will not back off. 
just like that and it's out of the way so let's get that bolted up and we'll be right back all right we got it hooked up and what we want to do is go down here and I open up this clamp right there so I want to put that between there so it's not don't go up against the belt or anything and close that up then we're gonna bring it up to here and we already got it going through here and now we're gonna open this back up cut this in and put it right up there we'll be right back all right guys we got everything hooked up let's go Matter of fact, you don't need to be watching me hook this up. I'm gonna hook this back up and we're gonna do another voltage draw. Matter of fact, yeah, you can stay around. Right hook that up right there. And hook our ground up to over here. And we're gonna cut this on. <coughs> multimeter, okay. Um, volts we had 12 15 and let me matter of fact I'm gonna have the customer start this I'm gonna have them start it up and we're gonna check to see what are we drawing now look at that right now we had 12 15 so let's see what happens I'm ready ready yep one more time all right we dropped down to about nine volts but that's all right but you notice it starts right up with no problem whatsoever and that's how you do a voltage drop using the Ortel AL539B check that out a bad ground and also um just like just like you might uh, on your grounds this one was grounded to the back of the power stream pump. We wasn't too comfortable with that, so make sure you ground it right to something going to the block. That is the best ground it's going to get. All right, we'll be right back. All right, today we had a 2000 Dodge Ram 1500, and uh, the... Go on. <laughs> the problem was the vehicle wouldn't start. We came to find out that it was a ground wire. We also showed you how to, what was it, drop? Voltage drop. Voltage drop. How to do a voltage drop with the auto. So if you guys have any comments or questions, you can post it below in the comment section. Or you can email Timmy at Tim at AstroAutoRepairs.com. Hope you paid attention. If not, watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astro Auto Repairs. <laughs> if we can't repair it, nobody can. Oh, See you next time. Oh, which, which auto was that? You said the auto. Which, which one? What's I didn't that? know which one it yeah, was. I, the AL 539B. There you go. No way. Yeah, it's the, buddy. It's the Ortel AL 539B. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right. See you next time.